talented music community wrapped up an amazing year of performances with Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands also concluded leadership's charity season. We spoke to Ellie Block, co-chair of Battle of the Bands. We basically like start the sign-up sheets, we like get everyone together, we contact all the performers, we reserve the auditorium for the night, we, are, we sell the tickets, we count the ballots just all the technical stuff and then it's up to the bands to perform. So it's going to AFSP, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and um, like we have a past with suicide in the school so it's an important thing for leadership to at least have one event going there and so that's why we're designating this event. We went to a private practice to check out the performers. We're kind of reusing a song that we use for talent show. So this group, we got together in probably January. We auditioned um, for a talent show in February. Um, unfortunately, it was not one of the acts that got in. It's still a really good song. We really wanted to perform it. Honestly, I get a lot of inspiration from like my peers and like students at Whitman, since that's kind of where I do play my music. Um, seeing the energy that people put into their performances and seeing how you can really take a piece of music and bring it to life and like perform it for people, that's something that I really enjoy and want to emulate a lot. We spoke with the only country band, 98.7, before the show. Well, we're all friends and we all do acapella together. Um, and they were looking for a couple more bands for our Battle of the Bands and we were like, Let's, let's form a band. Different. Like yeah. let's play country songs. There's like such an adrenaline rush. Yes, yeah. there's stage. such an adrenaline, and just like knowing that like your music is impacting other people, and like mm -hmm. you can kind of escape the reality of like you know if you're going through a lot of stress. It's just so free. Also, when you're on stage and like the lights are on you, you can't really see the audience, yeah. so it feels like uh, you're like the no only one. It's like, like it's so it. cool. Yeah. And, yeah. Battle of the Bands winners, The Gentleman, got the whole audience dancing with their cover of The Killer's Mr. Brightside. The trio have been playing together for years, and the audience loved their energy and chemistry. You grew up and played with these people, so I mean, it's nice to play with them, especially when you've been playing them, like, with them for four years. For one of our songs, it was Mr. Brightside, so everyone knows the lyrics to that, so everyone would sing along. That was, that was fun. Battle of the Bands was a great opportunity for students to showcase their talent before the school year ends and was also a final send-off to the WAD before it is torn down next year. Okay.